And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Achelusaurus, which was a request from Cole via Patreon, so thanks, Cole. The name means Achelus's lizard. It was a centrosaurine ceratopsid that lived in the late Cretaceous in North America. Sometimes I feel like we're saying tongue twisters. <laughs> yeah, that's because everything is a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> It was found in the Two Medicine Formation in Montana, and the type species is Achelusaurus horneri, and is named by Scott Sampson in 1995. The name Achelusaurus refers to Achelus, a Greek river deity who fought Hercules, and Hercules tore off one of his horns. Oof. Pretty violent. Three skulls have been found, and they all have these rough bosses where other ceratopsians have horns, so it makes it look like their horns were ripped oh, off. Oh, man. That is... A very accurate but graphic name for it. Yes, although I'm sure that's not how it happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that some ancient Greek god ripped off its horn. Or that anything ripped off three of them. Yeah, they all just happen to get ripped off in the same way. Yeah. <laughs> so, Achelus could also shapeshift, and Achelusaurus has combined features from other ceratopsians. Could shapeshift? He's a deity. Oh, the Greek Achelous. Yes. Yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> I'm with you. <ya. laughs> there we go. So the species name, Horneri, is in honor of Jack Horner, which you may have guessed. And he's the one who led the team that excavated the holotype skull of Achelousaurus in 1987. Achelousaurus is about 20 feet or 6 meters long and weighed about 3 tons. It had a parrot-like beak and rough bosses on its snout and a pair of horns on the end of long, bony frills. And it may have been a transitional ceratopsian since it has two horns at the top of its neck thrill like Ineosaurus and a large nasal boss like Pachyrhinosaurus, but not everybody agrees on this. Yeah, I was kind of imagining Pachyrhinosaurus when you were talking about that ripped off horn look. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that rough look. Yeah. All the Achillosaurus fossils are at the Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman, Montana, including a skull from an adult, which is 5 feet or 1.6 meters long. I'm pretty sure we saw that when we visited. So Ceratopsians were Ornithischians that lived in North America and Asia, and they had beaks and cheek teeth to eat fibrous vegetation. And they also had a frill, which may have been used for defense or regulating body temperature, attracting mates or signaling danger. 